Hi guys, my name is Big Zombie Monkey, and I am a kit designer for PezUniverse.com, as well as the owner of Arder Kits, which you can find at ArderKits.com. Um, today I am going to be doing a video showing you how to get your kits across from the PC onto your PS4, and how to use them both on the real teams and how to use them in my club. So, the first thing you're going to need to do is get your USB stick, and you're going to have to put it in your PC. Now I'm going to do a small window just down here so you can see exactly what I'm doing. The first thing you need to do is you need to create a folder on your USB stick called WePez. Now the reason you do this is because that is how the PS4 will understand that you're importing the kits. So create your folder WePez and you stick your kits into that folder. Once you've done that and they are in the WePez folder, you then take the USB stick, place it into your PS4 and you can begin to import your kits across if you can get USB stick in. So, once we are into the edit data, you go to data management, and you go to import images. This is where you import all your images such as your strips, your team emblems, your competition emblems, manager photos, everything is done through this. Now, we have our kits on our USB, so we go to strip, and if you haven't named your folder WePez, this will not show up, and this is a problem a lot of people are having. They've said, they've said, I've put my kits onto my USB stick, I plug my USB stick in, I go to data management and there's nothing there. Now the reason why is because PES 2016 uses that folder to identify that you want to bring stuff in. So once you've created your WePES folder, put your kits in, this will show up. So here are the kits I'm doing today. They are Bristol City's kit for next season, 16-17 and a Pezology kit which is a streamer named Sep who does a lot of videos, tutorials, he streams, he's actually partnered with Twitch, a uh, very good guy, well worth checking out and we're going to use one of his kits that I've designed for him today to put into the game so that you can you see how it's applied on my club. So first of all we select the kits and we click OK. This will import the games, uh, the, sorry the kits into the game and now it is on your PS4 so you no longer need your USB stick at the moment unless you plan on bringing more kits in they are officially on the PS4 and all you do need to do is apply them now we will go to Bristol City which as you can see I haven't edited my teams on this account so you go to SW Red which is Bristol City when you rename them go to strip and this is the bit where a lot of people will literally just go in they'll choose paste image they'll paste the kit on and then we get messages saying why are my crowd green when I've got a red kit why is the Under Armour green why is this blue those kind of questions it doesn't match so on and so forth the reason for this is because whatever kit you have at the moment as you can see on the screen the base color which is this one, the base design and the color will be used by the crowd. So what you want to do, remove all your design features, like so, and do the same on the shorts and the socks. And we are now down to a clear kit. And what you need to do is you need to use the color that you want to use, on the, that is actually used on the actual kit. So in this case, this color I've made here is the Bristol City color. So you select that, and as you saw, I changed the color to the correct color. And once you've done that, and you can obviously apply it to all these as well. I tend to do this just because... Oh, going the wrong one there. Let's go back up there. Uh, design 1, no, we want to go to shorts. So the only reason I do this is just because I like to match the kit underneath so that... If I ever, you know, if, a, if an image gets deleted or whatever, the kit will still look pretty decent. So here we are. That is the Bristol City kit, but obviously you haven't got the emblem, you haven't got the good looking kit, so now you go to paste image. Now I have 200 plus kits on here, if you're just importing your first kit, you'll have however many you've imported. So you find the one that you want to import, or use, and in this case it's Bristol City, and there you are, it's been applied. Now, once you've done that, because you've done the colours underneath, the best part about it is, if you have Under Armour, it will show as the right colour. If you have... You know, if you look at the fans, they will be wearing red. It, it just gives it that better look and it makes it look authentic and the way it should be. So the only thing you need to do now is the markings. Now, Bristol City is pretty straightforward. They have white on the back. They don't have an arch. And I like to use font 3 because I think it looks the best. 
and we just do the squad number as well. Now you also have a choice on some of the kits because of the placing of the number. They this is a problem we've had a lot on Pez Universe. People say, "Oh, your kit clips over on the on the shorts number or on the chest number." As you can see there, the Bristol Sport logo, the number sticks over the top of it, so I tend to turn it off. Now the reason for this is the positioning is correct, but obviously we can't position the numbers. It's just an unfortunate thing that happens sometimes, but on the markings you can remove them and then you look just as authentic. It's no longer a problem. So once you've done all your markings, there you are. Your kit is in the game, it's ready to be used. And that is how you do all the real kits if you want to do your Manchester United, sorry, your Chelsea, your Arsenal, all those kind of kits. It's simply just taking them across from your PC onto your USB, put them on the game and paste them once you've got your undercolors. So that is the real kits done. It's as simple as that. But now I'm going to move on to my club. Now what my club does is it takes a kit that you choose. In this case, I'm going to be using Pez United. This is the default one that the game tries to give you. Now, obviously Pez United are not a real team, so you could use Pez United. Uh, you could go down to the classic teams and maybe replace one of those. It's your choice. But what you have to understand is whatever kit you are using will be used, if, it, if they're in the Master League itself, they will use those kits. So if you use one of these two teams, for example, obviously they are not in Master League and it's not going to interfere with your overall game on Master League. So in this case, I'm just going to use, as I said, Pez United. Now I've already done the bit I showed you a minute ago with the strip. I've preempted this one so that it's already done. You can see this is not the default kit. This is how I've done the undercolor so that the uh, Under Armour and the fans will match. So now we just chuck on the kit that we wanted, which we imported a minute ago. Has that one? Like so. And there you have, I've done all the markings and that is the kit looking as it should. It's a very nice kit, I think, personally. I, I, obviously, I made it, so I'm a bit biased. But I do like this kit, and Sep seems to like it as well. So I've now got that kit, and it's ready to be used. So if you did whatever team... I, I, I personally, if I just actually quick, I'll pop on here. I use Charming Town, which is inspired by the Sons of Anarchy. So if I went all the way down here to number one, you can see, for example, how my personal kit is. And this is how I have my kit. Um, I have the collar as number three. So there you go. So you can see my kit as it looks when I use it. So that, that is what you do. You choose your kit. You have it how you want it. And that is job done. We'll just reapply the Pez kit now. Pez set. And there we go. That is done. Now, the next part is people are saying, obviously, they want to use them in my club. It's a very, very simple process, so I'm just going to speed up the video until we're in my club. So here we are on uh, my club, and as you can see, I'm named Atletico Madrid, and I've got the Atletico Madrid kit. Uh, we obviously want to use our own kits, so what we do, we head across to Extras, you go to Edit Team, and here you can change your team name, so it was called Pez United, I believe, so we just do that quickly. And we'll change that to PU. PU. And that is just how you rename your team. So now your team is named Pez United or whatever you want to call them. And to get your kits, you just do copy team design. And you simply apply them from the team that you did earlier. Which is, this is why we choose a team that you're not going to be using. Because you can have your own emblem, you can have your own colours. And the same thing I said about the whole underarm colors and the fans colors it'll all match and the best part about it is it even changes the menus as you can see at the top we've got that nice burgundy color now and obviously as I said the kits are now imported which you can see if you go to my club members and go to squad list there it is your kit is now applied and that is the kit that you will use in my club when you play obviously you do the same for the away the third the goalkeeper at and have however many kits you want and it doesn't affect the people you play they will not see your kits you will not see their kits so you never get that clashing as well very clever by economy to make sure that that still works like that so there you are that is how you import your kits that is how you apply them to real teams and that's how you apply them to a team in my club i hope that helps if you've got any questions leave them in the comments below and i will get to you okay thanks very much bye